Let's be real, 99% of credit repair companies are a total scam. Their so-called credit repair just doesn't work. But why is that? Well, let me break it down for you. A few years ago, a wave of credit repair software companies flooded the market, selling credit repair as a work from home business opportunity, all to push sales of their software. And what happened next? Tens of thousands of fly by night credit repair companies popped up. These companies armed themselves with generic cookie cutter software generated letters, letters that surprise, surprise, they don't work. The credit bureaus are smart. They adapt, evolve, and catch on to these tactics. Factual disputing, Metro 2 challenges, you name it, none of it works anymore. So what does work? Let me tell you. A personalized custom approach with letters meticulously crafted for each individual derogatory item on your credit report. What kind of letters? Consumer law letters. But here's the thing. This approach requires time and effort. You need to know the law inside and out, which is why most companies won't bother. They'd rather click a button and charge you $149 a month and string you along for one or even two years without ever delivering results. But that's not us. My team and I have been certified in credit repair since 2020. Here's an interview with my partner, Richard, who is at the helm of our dispute team. For everybody watching, this is Richard. He handles our dispute team. Richard, can you explain our unique approach for our credit repair, the, you know, the process they take in disputing derogatory items, and how is it different from other companies? Sure. So there's tens and tens of thousands of credit repair agencies here in the United States, right? It's really hard to differentiate who does what um, and which one's more effective. But realistically, anyone can start a credit repair company. You can go to a lot of these CRMs or um, like Credit Repair Cloud, Client Dispute Manager. They give you a lot of these template letters that most credit repair companies use, right? They actually don't study the legalities of why certain items must remain on your credit report and why some of them can be removed, right? So um, just an insight such as, you know, using utilizing U.S. consumer law, 1681A4, 1692, etc. I'm not going to dive too much into the specifics of things because there's hundreds of pages of U.S. consumer law or 15 U.S.C. when it comes to credit repair. Um, but we've studied it for the past six years now. You know, we've been around for quite a while. There's actual legal reasons on why a charge off or a collections account cannot remain on your credit report due to misinformation. Um, it's going to be much more effective than using the template letters that get ran through the eOscar system um, that thousands of other people are using as well. And it just gets sifted through and it just gets tossed out as verified as accurate. You know, so um, we actually use customized disputes for every single client where a lot of people are just basically using templates. What kind of results have we seen from clients using the credit repair and how quickly can they typically expect to see changes in their report? Yeah, so we dispute very differently than most people, like I said, you know, template letters. But on top of that, we actually dispute directly through the portals, right? So our turnarounds can be much quicker, whereas most people are, you know, sending snail mail still um, certified or not. It still takes time to get there. Someone has to sort through everything, run it through the system, and then it verifies it as accurate or um, it deletes the item off your credit report. For us, we upload everything directly online as long as we have the logins for it. Um, and that's up to the clients to give us all of the information. Um, but we're able to do it on all three bureaus, right? Equifax, TransUnion, um, or Equifax and Experian previously, but also TransUnion now. Uh, we found a workaround for it as well. So um, our results can be pretty quick. Like I've had deletions of charge-offs, student loans and collections as fast as 48 hours, especially on Equifax and Experian. Um, so super, super quick, right? Um, but again, that doesn't happen for every single individual because every person's credit profile is different. You know, some may come back verified as accurate. There's an experience backdoor where, again, this is into the details of things again, but um, certain accounts are attached to certain addresses. So we have to verify whether it's accurate or not, or whether it's their current address that they live at. Maybe we have to remove some old addresses, so forth and so on. Um, but that's all part of the process. Generally, we can see results as fast as 30 days, as fast as 48 hours, but on average 14 to 30 days. Um, and we do have a 90 day guarantee as well. Here's our promise. We'll fight to remove these derogatory accounts with powerful, proven and custom tailored consumer law letters that actually get results. And we back it up with a 90 day guarantee and a 12 month warranty. If we don't remove any derogatory accounts within 90 days, you get your money back. Simple as that. 
We've removed bankruptcies, charge-offs, collections, late payments, though be careful with late payments. This usually means we have to remove the account entirely, full transparency. We've also removed repossessions, even child support and student loans. For student loans, child support, you'll still owe the money, but we can make it disappear from your reports. You name it, we've done it. And if there's an account we can't fix for you, we'll let you know that before you pay us a dime. We like to call ourselves the last credit repair company you'll ever need. In a world where 99% of credit repair companies make it their mission to not get you results so they could just keep charging you and milking you every single month, we're different. We make it our mission to get you results or we don't want your money. So enough talk, let's get to work and build a credit you've always dreamed of. Click the link in the description below. And as always guys, this is Credit with Colin and I'll see you guys on the next one.